Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is part two out of four of our Fireteam reviews. In episode one, we checked out Fireteam Venom in all of its glory, one of the very first Fireteams for Mega to make, five figures, and a lot of really great accessories, very good value for money. In part two, three, and four, we're going to check out Crimson, Eagle, and Sierra Squad. And today, it's Crimson's time to shine. So let's check this out. This is Fireteam Crimson, came out at at roughly the same time as Fireteam Venom and has a beautiful selection of Halo 4 Spartans. So move aside Fireteam Venom, it's Crimson's time in the spotlight. Dump all of those accessories out. And yes, I managed to get these from a friend online and these are 100% complete, which as I was mentioning in my previous video, is pretty rare to find 100% complete sets in Mega Constructs. Like a lot of people, you know, maybe they don't take the best care of their Mega Constructs and they'll always lose the occasional piece, but this is a 100% complete set, which I, you, just, you just love to see. In this glorious set, we have five red matching Spartans. Here's our Spartan Recruit from the very start of Halo 4. I have always loved the base Halo 4 armor sets. I love Recruit, Soldier, Warrior. They're all really nice. And this one is no exception. Like, this is really great. We got the Spartan Mark 6, Halo 4's Master Chief. Looking pretty fine and dandy there. Then we've got the Orbital Enforcer and Scout. And, oh no, the Orbital's missing his leg there. All really great armors, honestly. And Mega, you know, they got a lot of forward investment when Mattel Hell decided to purchase them and merge the companies. So they had a lot of money to pump out a lot of Halo 4 molds. And they did them very fast, in my opinion. Like, this is only 2014 when this was released. They'd already made a lot of these armor sets. And also, Scout is the odd one out here, or maybe not the odd one out, the matching one, because this is in Fireteam Venom as well. These fire teams also don't have any printed detailing on their shoulders. A lot of future fire teams have the sort of fire team emblem printed on one, at least one of their shoulders. But this is one of the first sets. The money wasn't there at this point or something like that. I don't know why it didn't happen, but it didn't. We got our base plates here. Clearly, uh, yeah, this guy has uh, had them for a while. This is a classic thing with uh, base plates. I know a lot of you can relate to me where uh, when you construct something, you put the bricks on in certain places. And then if you leave them for years, when you take them off, there's like layers of dust indicating where you've placed your pieces before, specifically where you've not placed your pieces. And when you insert it, you can see that this is where there's been no dust before because there's a piece covering it and that's where the dust is, right? <laughs> so the, there was no dust on the previous one. And obviously I'm putting faith that there's 100% uh, complete pieces here. I don't actually know, but I, I'm pretty sure. It's looking pretty good at least. All right, this one, to my delight, follows a more Promethean theme to it. There's uh, a really nice Promethean tower we're going to build. Obviously Prometheans being the main core focus of Halo 4, as well as the Storm Covenant. But the Storm Covenant were kind of just there because we like shooting at Covenant, right? And also they already know how to program Covenant. But the Storm Covenant definitely took a backseat in the story to the Didact, for sure. All right, we got a nice beam of light. There were so many good Halo 4 sets back in the day, which came with really awesome Forerunner structures. Things like the Oni Siege Bike. I would actually love to make a video running down all the sets that came with Forerunner structures, because there were so many good ones at the time. That would be a really fun video at some point. All right, we build these two, and these have to be sort of like uh, mirror opposites of each other, just based on this piece, uh, like which way it goes. Okay, and then we we snap these in. Let's see which way round we want. Yeah, in they go. And the beacon is responding. Look at that. That's nice. Like, it's simple, yes, but in terms of setting the scene, in terms of an actual diorama piece, like you could build an entire diorama around that if you wanted to. A beam of light shot into the sky and both the Storm Covenant and the UNSC ran to defend it or capture it, I guess. Look at that. That's a nice tree, man. And this comes with way more foliage than the first one as well, than Fireteam Venom. So already, Massive hats off to this one. Yeah, look at that. That is nice, man. That is really nice. Uh, yeah, Fireteam Venom just came with two little loose pieces of foliage, but that one more focused on this uh, flag structure. This one does come with a flag as well, though, and it also comes with this, uh, which is meant to have a Spartan flying through the air. In the future, we found that Mega has way better ways of uh, assisting flight. There's just better pieces that exist nowadays. That is essentially it for the building. Uh, we also have a nice little barricade. 
barricade. Which also, love to have barricades. You can never have enough barricades. Very nice. That is seriously cool. You love to see it. You love to see it. Apparently we put the flag on top of the crate, which is an interesting choice. Oh, a very prominent logo there. Very, very easy to see. The Venom logo was a little bit more blurred, a little bit more difficult to see on the green. But that stands out really well. What a great looking flag. And then we've got all of our weapons, goodness me. In the Fireteam Venom set, we got a missile pod. In this one, it's a chain gun. I think most people would prefer a chain gun in their set. I mean, look at that. It's just so badass. But I, I, I like both in, in some ways. I mean, chain gun's the one, though. <laughs> chain gun's the one. All right, weapons. We've got sniper rifle, assault rifle, tactical shotgun. We've got a... What's <laughs> what's this called uh, from Halo Reach? A uh, missile, trekker, locker on a orbital, drop orbital, locator, thingy-majig, DMR, grenade launcher, railgun, magnum, and five grenades. That is A, a lot of weapons, and B, way more weapons than you would see in future fire teams. Unfortunately, in future fire teams, Mega did scale back the figure count to just four, which is a shame because these uh, five Five team fire teams are awesome. All right, we will give the scout the sniper rifle. You can also comment down below if my choices for weapons to figures are lore accurate. We're going to give the Mark VI. Tell you what, we'll give the recruit the assault rifle and the Magnum because he is a recruit, so he's been given the base weapons. Makes sense to me. Then what have we got? We'll give you the grenade launcher and the railgun. Why not? Target locator. Yeah, target locator. That's the word. That's the word. For our Mark VI, we'll give him a tactical shotgun and a DMR. Beautiful. Then we've got a few grenades. We'll put most of the grenades in our weapon crate. Always good to have more weapon crates. You can literally never have enough of those. I've also found that the grenades, I don't know if you can relate, the grenades are quite difficult for these early fire teams to keep hold of. I don't know why. Something to do with their hands. Maybe the grenade mold is not thick enough. I don't know. So same as fire team venom let's switch up this camera angle and display them in a diorama ladies and gentlemen that makes two fire team crimson is here to kick some ass and they're also on demarcation media's channel right now this is a collaboration with demarcation media z fowler and he's released his review of fire team crimson today as well the exact same time so i would really appreciate you showing our brother some support and going and watching his review of this fire team because after i finish this review I'm sending this fire team as well as fire team eagle to demarcation media So let me know down below which do you prefer fire team venom or fire team crimson? They both have pros and cons for me I mean, I really respect the forerunner structure and all this dense foliage But at the same time those neon sort of greens I do enjoy the speckled effect on the armor also shows through better on venom than it does on crimson But they are still all really nice and you can join me next time for my review of fire team eagle as always You stay awesome. You stay safe out there folks rate these sets out of 10 in the comments down below and the spartan scout is signing off Missile, trekker, locker on a orbital, drop orbital, locator, thingy-majig.